this is Amy Bacon with Spirit Pathways, and I'm here with this week's reading. This is for today, Monday, July 3rd, through this coming Sunday, July 9th, 2023. There are so many factors that combine to make a good life. We each are attached to outcomes depending upon our preferences. And if we just concentrate upon ourselves, not paying attention to others' expectations of us, we have enough to contend with. A good life. A good life is made up of many details. Our health, our outlook, our ability to integrate humor into our days, our ability to use our wisdom and knowledge to actually improve our days, our resilience and our flexibility. These things actually create our experiences. How we react to and how we deal with what's in front of us, this gives us our outcomes. If we are coming from a foundation of being damaged or fearful or anxious or emotional, we're also affecting our personal enjoyment of our days. We are affecting our desired outcomes. And we're not alone. We didn't come here to be clueless. We have so much powerful assistance to help deal with anything that comes our way. And power is an important concept here. You have power. You can make whatever decisions are best for you. You have the power to say no to anything or anyone asking you to do something you really don't want to do for your highest good. You have the power to only agree to participate with the things that are in your best interest and your highest good. From small ideas like food choices to the huge ideas like partnership choices and everything in between, you choose. And your choices create your good life. Your choices reflect what matters to you. Your choices lay out your next steps. And not every choice is life altering. But if you approach every choice with the knowledge of how it's going to affect your life today, tomorrow, and several years from now, you're going to be better able to lay out the path that is the most pleasing to you. If you find yourself in a decision that you're not happy with, be kind to yourself. It's okay. There's always a new moment and a new choice that allows you to move forward. Yeah, that allows you, this is, you can recalibrate to a better position. And no matter what, celebrate you. Celebrate each day and your happiness. Honor your personal needs because your happiness and your well being provides happiness and well being for those in your life. It starts with you. And there's assistance here for you with where you are in your life and how to improve anything and everything. I work with people to address the details of creating a good life. We take the parts of your life that need improvement and with answers, understanding, clarity, and direction, you're, you will find happier outcomes. You'll learn to connect with your own personal spirit guides and understand your lifetime blueprint. This is life changing and you're ready. All the details are on my website, spiritpathways.net. And I also have discounted programs so you can participate fully. And you set the schedule. I am available for you to have your absolute best life. Let's remove the barriers. Let's give you all the understanding and clarity that you need to really move forward in happiness.
All right, nine cards for the energy of this week. All sticking together. <laughs> One more. There it is. All right. What's happening this week? Where's the energy for us? Oh, I love that. I love the first card. Nice. Nice. <laughs> yes. This here are these are good cards. Good cards to help you move on and calibrate in your life. We're starting with the fool. Ah, oh, fantastic card of new beginnings, of definitely not pulling from the past. For moving ahead, taking that leap of faith, just go ahead and trust and start completely new don't keep <laughs> don't keep doing things the way that you've been doing them because that's maybe not working so well for you this is a brand new beginning that does not pull from the past that leap of faith trust it's going to bring you where you want to be then you can begin practicing practicing with the alignment that really matters to you and building your team figuring out who you want in your life who you want to help you and assist you as you move forward. Working out the kinks because you have this lovely new beginning, the new beginning created by the fool. Yes, and it's all, this new beginning is all based on what inspires you, based on you really being true to your heart, your authentic self, your authentic enjoyment. This page of wands is ready to embark and grow all those things that inspire you. So get the information you need. The page of swords is helping you intellectually, helping you with wisdom and knowledge and experience. So don't hold back. Go ahead, do your research, Google that thing. Get all the information you need so your outcomes, this lovely card in the middle, the King of Wands, it began with the Page of Wands and it ends with the outcome of the King of Wands of your absolute success. Yeah, you've got to take action though. <laughs> this isn't just all the research and the passive work. Wands are fire. Wands want you to take action and to do things to make those decisions that make your life better, to make those choices that bring you into the alignment that matters for you, because this is going to give you another new beginning. You have the fool up here, the leap of faith that doesn't pull from the past, and death is literally a rebirth. This is the new chapter the new phase, the new season, the, the new dawning, the new awakening. Death is absolutely awakening, rebirth. I call this card the rebirth because you're ready. <laughs> You've been doing things the same way long enough. With both the fool and the death in the same spread, you've got to have the rebirth. You've got to have the new beginning. So go within. Go within and think about what really matters to you. Think about where your heart is and where you want to be. Where do you want to be tomorrow? Or where do you want to be in a year, in three years, in five years? Try and think ahead because the choices and decisions that you make today are going to land you where you're going to be in three years and five years. So go within and pay attention to what really matters to you and realize that you're not alone. Oh, you have so much assistance and assistance that gives you power. You have your spirit guides. You've got your lifetime blueprint. You've got access to learn about these things and to understand these things, to realize that you're not alone. I can help you with that. So anytime that you feel like things are just a bit overwhelming and you wish you had more help, it's there for you. 
it is available to you. Make the choice to avail yourself of assistance and help. And we have the lovely Queen of Pentacles. So all of this, the Fool, the Page of Wands, the Page of Swords, the King of Wands, Death, the Hermit. Oh, she, it all leads to her. <laughs> all paths lead to the Queen of Pentacles. She's your solutions. She's your abundance and your prosperity and your good health and your happiness and your quality of life and your value fulfillment. That's her. That's what all of this other is creating. You make all these steps and you get the queen of pentacles, which is your life. That's your life, your outcomes. Fantastic energy this week. Maybe listen more than once so you can get all the details and really use them and apply them to your life. Have a wonderful week and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.